BusyBox's expert information on financial spread betting. What is financial spread betting? Financial spread betting is basically a way to trade on the financial markets uh, a lot simpler than the way you would do with, say, your traditional stockbrokers. There are a number of key differences between the two, but what spread betting does is it opens up trading to uh, a number of different people, whereas trading with a traditional stockbroker has more or less been more of an elitist and more of a complicated way to trade. Uh, it doesn't have to be like that with spread betting. It makes things a lot more simple, and it enables you to trade financial markets in pretty much the same way as you could go and trade uh, sports betting, football, whatever it would be, it brings it all down to the same level and it doesn't necessarily matter what you're trading on, uh, it will all work exactly the same way and just makes things 100% more simple than what it necessarily would have been in the past. What is actually traded in spread betting? In spread betting, it doesn't necessarily, of course, always have to be financials. You can trade pretty much anything from uh, sports, football, cricket runs, and that's how spread betting actually started, through, through trading cricket runs. But when you look at financial spread betting, you can trade on a whole host of different instruments from uh, indices and traditional stocks like British Airways, Vodafone and likes of FTSE 100 and the Dow Jones to stocks all over the world and commodities as well. So with spread betting, pretty much anything is open to trade on. It's pretty much whatever you want to trade on will most probably be there to trade on. How do spread betting and traditional stock trading differ? Well, of course, the major difference between uh, stock trade, traditional stock trading and spread betting is, number one, the costs involved. Spread betting is a lot cheaper to trade. Uh, there's no tax implications either. Uh, another thing is that you don't take any physical ownership of shares. That when you tr trade traditional stocks, you will take physical ownership of the, of the stock. When you uh, trade spread betting, uh, you're just betting whether the market's going up or down. The one other key difference is the actual mechanics of how you trade. If you're looking to trade through a traditional stockbroker, you'll be looking to buy a number of thousand shares or, or multiples of hundreds or thousands of shares. When you trade with spread betting, you're trading on a pound per point basis, which basically means you can trade from uh, with a number of companies a minimum of one pound per point. And if, if you trade one pound per point, it means that if the market goes your way, you will make one pound for every point that the market moves. If it goes against you, you will lose one pound for every point that the market moves. And that's how uh, spread betting keeps itself very simple. What is an example of a profitable spread bet? Well, a profitable spread bet is when you basically make the right decision on where, the, which way the market's going to go. So if we take, for example, the FTSE 100, I can choose to bet on the FTSE 100 however many pounds per point I want to. So if I choose to bet 10 pounds per point, that means that every point movement that happens in the market, if it goes up, I'll make 10 pounds. If it goes down, I will lose 10 pounds. So if the market went from 3,800 where I bought it to 3,810, I'd make 10 points, which means I would make 100 pounds. How long has spread betting been around? Spread betting's been around for a number of years. There's a, there's a difference. People tend to think that uh, spread betting is a fairly new instrument. Uh, and especially fairly new in financial markets. Now, of course, spread betting started uh, a number of years ago in, with sports and cricket runs, betting on how many cricket runs a certain team would get. But financial spread betting started almost 35 years ago now uh, and is, is established in, into a major trading tool for investors. And it is, is now, in the UK, one of the most popular ways to trade the financial markets. Can anyone do spread betting? Anyone can do spread betting. That's where it's aimed at. It, it, its its audience is Joe Public who do want to uh, place a few trades on, on the market and may, maybe make money on the side. Now, that's not saying that spread betting isn't done by professional traders. All spread betting companies have a number of clients that just want to go in and, and place a few trades to make a little bit of money on the side. And they also have people that are looking to trade for a living just using spread betting. And the reason they do that is because it's so much cheaper to trade through spread betting and there's so many more instruments to trade on than what there is with a traditional stockbroker. Do I need lots of capital? You don't need a lot of capital to spread bet. The one key thing about spread betting is that it's basically free of charge. There are a few charges uh, here and there tucked away, but there's no commission charges, there's no taxes involved in uh, trading spread betting. So you don't have any of the money that you put into your account eaten away with charges. So it means that you can put a, a minimal amount of money in to start trading. Now, where I work, the minimum you need to trade in your account is £200. If you open up your account, all you need to do is put £200 into that, and then that's all yours to trade on. Is there a minimum entry investment? 
The minimum entry investment for spread betting, usually with a, it varies from company to company, whoever you choose to go to trade with. The company I work for, the minimum trade um, uh, you have to, the minimum amount of money you have to put into your account is two hundred pounds. Now, once that two hundred pounds is in your account, that's all yours to trade on. But if you do fall below certain levels, then you, then you won't be able to place certain trades. But the minimum amount to go in is two hundred pounds. Do I need lots of knowledge of the markets? That's the key difference between a lot of other things. Legally, you don't have to have any experience in trading at all. Uh, but it, of course, it helps to have some sort of knowledge of trading, maybe a, a little bit of knowledge of the markets. But that is the whole point of spread betting. It is open to absolutely anyone who wants to do it. As long as you're over the age of 18, you can spread bet on whatever you like. And it's basically betting on whether you think the market's going to go up or the market's going to go down. So anyone can have an opinion on that either way. Am I in control of my spread bets? You look after your own money. You are solely in charge of your account, the trades that you put on. No one else is going to put any trades on the account for you. So uh, that's not meaning that you're left alone. Of course, a lot of spread betting companies give you different seminars on how to trade and different tips in trading. But the underlying decision on what you buy and what you sell is completely yours. How does a spread betting company make its money? Well, there's a common misconception when it comes to basically any company that has your money that maybe if I make money, it means the company loses money and vice versa. And it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily work that way. The way it works is that uh, there is a spread, which is the difference between the buy and the sell price or the bid and the offer price. Now, every time that's traded, the spread betting company will make money on that trade. So it doesn't necessarily matter whether you have uh, whether you make or lose money to the spread betting company, as long as you place the trades is all that matters as far as making money goes. So the, the companies make money on the spread and also in a few different places uh, as well, but the major way is on the spread. Do I have to pay tax on any profits that I make? One key thing and one real selling point of spread betting over the years has been uh, that there's no tax implications at all on spread betting. Uh, when it comes to spread betting, and this is a di another difference between, of course, tra uh, traditional stock trading and CFD trading as well, is that you don't pay any capital gains tax at all. Uh, you're, you're able to completely make as much money as you like and not pay any taxes. So at the moment, of course, it's completely tax-free, but of course tax, tax laws can change.